All right, let's talk about page 16 and 17. A guy named Pascal discovered a pattern. And really, there are a lot of really cool patterns in math. And uh, this one is for finding the coefficient of a binomial when we just have like x plus y or a plus b or something very simple like that. And we have an exponent. And there is a pattern that follows with the x's. We saw it in the previous lesson. You know how the x's start off at x to the, you know, fifth and then fourth, third, two, one, and then none. Okay. And then uh, the y is an increasing exponent. But what we didn't figure out in the previous one is what the numbers would be in front of those. And is there an easy way to do that? Well, Pascal came up with looks like a Christmas tree here okay so here's the peak one row two we're gonna have two ones row three we add one plus two or one plus one to get two for this row we just bring the one down we do one plus two to get three two plus one is three okay bring the three down or the one down all right, keep the one, add one, one plus three to get four, three plus three is six, three plus one is four, okay? All of this is shown you in the pace. What if we're trying to figure out what row seven would look like? What do you think? All right, so we're gonna have a one out front. We're gonna add the one plus five and get six. Add five plus 10 to get 15. 10 plus 10 is 20. Over here we get 15, 6, and then we keep the 1 out there. Now let's take something here like x, x plus 1, actually the x plus y to the 6th power. How do we know which row we're supposed to use? Well, as you read over the page, you'll find out that we always add 1. Okay, there's always one more term in our answer than what our exponent is. So if the exponent is 6, then I need to use row 7. So I can just very quickly, all right, watch this. I'm going to start way over here because it's going to get long, all right? So x to the 6th power, and that's what the 1 is plus 6, x to the 5th, y to the 1. Okay, plus 15, we decrease the, the exponent on x, and we're going to increase the exponent on y, plus 20, x to the 3rd, y to the 3rd. Then we go back to 15, x squared, y to the fourth. I do have to wrap it down here. Plus six, the exponent on x is decreasing, so it becomes one, y becomes to the fifth, so the y is increasing. And then the last one is just one, and it's the last one, y to the sixth power. So these numbers down here on this row seven, one, six, 15, 20, 15, 6, and here's 1 again. Those represent the coefficients, the numbers in front. The exponent here is the starting exponent on the first term, x. It decreases until it's gone. And then the 6 is also where we're headed with the y. So we start with y to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, y to the 6. There's a lot of patterns like this in math, and... They actually kind of make it easy, all right? So this one, there's hardly any math involved. There's no solving, I should say, involved. It's just following a pattern and setting it up, all right? So I don't think you'll find these problems here on page 17 to be too bad. And then uh, again, when you check it, check it carefully with the answer key, which has a solution guide. And then you should be ready to do the checkup. And we'll come back and talk about probability after you finish the second checkup.